Good evening, yes, friends. Welcome to daily editorial analysis of Shankar IAS Academy. Today's date is 21st November 2024. In this video, we are going to discuss two important articles. The first one is about India Sri Lanka relationship. The second one is about the export trends in India and what are the challenges in export sector. So, these are the two articles we are going to discuss in this video. Shankar IAS Academy's pre storming prelims test series batch 3 is starting on. Interested aspirants use it. Another initiative called Chakra which focus on current affairs program is also going on. Interested aspirants can use it. Now let us get into the discussion. Now look at this article. Sri Lanka's new government is struggling with the significant challenges as it attempts to manage ongoing economic crisis. The new leadership must address deep-seated anti-Rajapakse sentiments while working to unify a divided society. Additionally, tough economic and political decisions will test the government's ability to perform better. So, this is what discussed in this article. In this backdrop, let us discuss about India and Sri Lanka bilateral relationship. Let us start with the historical and cultural ties. India and Sri Lanka share a deep and historical relationship that dates back to thousands of years. These ties are strongly rooted in the shared history of Buddhism which originated in India and later spread to Sri Lanka. So, Buddhism has fostered a long-lasting cultural and religious bond. Many Sri Lankans, particularly those of Tamil origin, trace their ancestry to southern India. So, this reflects the centuries of migration and cultural exchange between two countries. These shared traditions and beliefs continue to play a significant role in strengthening the bilateral relationship. So, this cultural relationship has formed the foundation for mutual cooperation in various fields between the two countries. Now, coming to the political and strategic relations. India has been an influential player in Sri Lanka's political affairs. The relationship has seen phases of cooperation and conflict, especially regarding the Tamil ethnic issue. During Sri Lanka's civil war, India supported the Tamil minority, which occasionally caused tensions in Sri Lankan government. Although the war ended in 2009, concerns about Tamil rights and reconciliation remain a key issue in the bilateral relationship. Sri Lanka's strategic location in Indian Ocean also enhances its importance to India. As Sri Lanka is located in the midpoint of global shipping routes, Sri Lanka is critical for India's economic and security interest. So, ensuring maritime security and maintaining control over this is vital for India. Now, coming to the economic cooperation, India has been a crucial partner for Sri Lanka, particularly during the economic crisis of 2022. During this crisis, Sri Lanka faced a shortage of foreign exchange reserves, inflation, scarcity of essential products and high debt. So, India provided approximately 4 billion US dollars in financial aid including loan, credit lines and humanitarian assistance. So, this aid helped Sri Lanka to access food, fuel and medicines. So, thereby India played a pivotal role in stabilizing the Sri Lanka's economy. India also led efforts in debt restructuring, offering the first letter of support for Sri Lanka's negotiation with the IMF. So, this affirmed that India's position as a reliable partner to Sri Lanka. Looking at the trade relations, the trade between the two nations is also significant because India is Sri Lanka's third largest export destination. Both countries benefit from India-Sri Lanka free trade agreement. There is also ongoing discussions about economic and technology cooperation agreement that is ETCA. This ETCA aims to deepen the trade ties between two countries, particularly in the areas of infrastructure, energy and telecommunication. There are initiatives to promote connectivity, establishing a multi-project petroleum pipeline, and Sri Lanka also adopted India's UPA, that is Unified Payment Interface. So, thereby it strengthened the economic cooperation between two countries. Now, coming to the security and defense cooperation, India and Sri Lanka share a robust security and defense partnership, which is aimed at maintaining a regional stability. Joint military exercises like Mitra Shakti and naval drills like Slynex are carried on between the two countries. These exercises improve coordination between the two countries' armed forces. Their collaboration addresses the common challenges like piracy, terrorism and illegal trafficking in Indian Ocean. Border security remains a concern due to porous maritime boundary and it has led to issues like smuggling and illegal immigration. Now coming to the regional and multilateral cooperation, both India and Sri Lanka actively participate in regional forums like WIMSTEC and SARC. These platforms offer opportunities to address shared challenges and including trade barriers, security threats and sustainable development. So, India's leadership in these organizations play a key role in fostering the regional collaboration and enhancing the partnership with Sri Lanka. Even though the two countries enjoy a long-lasting relationship and strong ties, there are still several issues that continue to affect the relationship between the two countries. The first important issue is the fisheries dispute. 
See, Indian fishermen often face detention and harassment by Sri Lankan authorities. Sometimes the Indian fishermen may allegedly cross the maritime boundaries. So, resolving the fishing rights issue in Park Strait and Gulf of Manar by having mutual agreement between the two countries is essential to ensure sustainable fishing practices. The next important point of dispute is Kachatibu Island. This island, which was given to Sri Lanka in 1974, remains an important contentious issue. Indian fishermen access this island for fishing and religious practices. So, this has led to disputes between Sri Lankan authorities and Indian fishermen. The next important issue is Tamil ethnic issue. See, concerns are there for the welfare and political rights of Sri Lanka's Tamil minority. India also advocates for the devolution of powers to Tamil majority areas to ensure their inclusion in governance. Another most important problem for India is China's influence on Sri Lanka. The China's growing strategic and economic presence in Sri Lanka, particularly through projects like Hambantota Boat, raises concerns for India. So, these developments highlight the need for India to strengthen our engagement with Sri Lanka. Then only we can counterbalance China's influence over Sri Lanka. Now, let us see what can be done to improve the bilateral relationship between India and Sri Lanka. Firstly, we should deepen the economic ties, accelerating the implementation of ETCA and promoting joint investment in sectors like energy infrastructure can benefit both nations and improve the relationship between two countries. Next important thing is resolving disputes. Diplomatic solutions to the issues like fisheries dispute and Kachatibu Island are essential for improving the relationship. We should also strengthen the strategic cooperation by engaging Sri Lanka through multilateral forums like Wimstek and SARC. We should also support the Tamil reconciliation. India can assist Sri Lanka in creating political framework which can address the Tamil grievances and ensure their rights. By addressing these aspects, India and Sri Lanka can build a more resilient and mutually beneficial partnership. This is a main question regarding this topic. Interested aspirants can use it. With this, let us conclude the discussion and move to the next news article. Now, look at this article. India's exports increased by 17.25% in October. This is mainly due to festival demand and there is a 25.6% increase in non-petroleum goods like electronics and textiles. However, still there are challenges. Petroleum exports fell by 22% which is the lowest in three years and this is due to lower global oil prices and weaker demand. The rising oil and gold imports increased the trade deficit to $66.3 billion. So, this increased trade deficit has put a pressure on the economy. The global issues such as China's slowing economy and possible trade restrictions from US also make the future uncertain. So, this is what discussed in this news article. So, in this context, let us see the trends in India's exports and challenges in export sector. In last 9 years, the service exports like IT and banking have doubled for India. India also became the top country for receiving remittances and India earned $120 billion as a remittance in 2023. The logistics system has improved. World Bank ranked India 38th in the logistics. India has been ranked 44th in logistics in 2018 and now Last year, India was ranked 38th, which is higher position. Additionally, India's external debt to GDP ratio has also been lower. So, this is showing better financial health. Now, looking at the major challenges in export sector. The export growth was slow earlier this year. There was only 1% rise in the first half of 2023. The recent growth is mostly due to the festival demand, which is temporary growth. The global trade is also slow and it is growing only 2.7% in 2023 and geopolitical issues like US trade policies created more uncertainty. India's exports also depend too much on few products like petroleum, so it makes them more vulnerable to the changes in global markets. So, this shows that India has to diversify its export products. Now, what are the major government initiatives to promote exports? The foreign trade policy of 2023 makes export process easier. Under this policy, the government is refunding the taxes on exports and promotes new areas like renewable energy and digital products. The Market Access Initiative helps exporters find new markets and Advanced Authorization Scheme also allows the duty-free import on raw materials for exports. Additionally, there is another program called District as Export Hubs which encourages local exporters by identifying special products from each district. So, projects like Gadi Shakti project are also improving the transport and port connections to enhance the exports. 
So these are some of the initiatives taken by government to improve the export sector. India's exports have huge potential but long term success depends on solving the key challenges. India need to reduce its dependence on few products and need to diversify more export products. India should also focus on new markets and improve the trade infrastructure. By doing this, India can make its export sector stronger and more stable for longer run. So this is the main question regarding this topic. With this, let us conclude the discussion. With this, we have come to the end of the discussion. If you like the video, please share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Shankaraya's Academy YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.